Hi, I am Stephanie Morris, landscape architect and member of Valley Water's Landscape Committee. Today I'm going to talk about rain gardens. Valley Water now offers a rebate of up to $300 for installing a rain garden. Rain gardens are designed to capture water from the roof, direct it down through downspouts, and into the landscape where it can percolate on site. As water is kept on site in a rain garden, it offers many benefits. First of all, water that stays on site does not flow as quickly to creeks, so in a very large rainfall event, it tends to reduce flooding because more water is kept on individual sites. And second, rainwater kept in rain gardens will gradually seep into the soil and recharge our local groundwater resources. Rain gardens are not designed to be ponds. Instead, the water filters into the soil within about a few hours or less after its capture. Rain gardens should always be installed down slope of the foundation of your house and at least 10 feet away from the foundation of your house. In this project in San Jose, we have a roof area of about 2,300 square feet and we've designed our rain gardens to capture a three quarter inch rainstorm. And so our rain gardens are about 290 square feet total. There's three of them, two in the front yard and one in the backyard. In general, rain gardens should be excavated to about six inches deep. On this project, we have designed them to be 10 inches deep so that we have plenty of capacity. And the homeowner specifically wanted a dry creek look. So we have used decorative cobble on top of the soil to create that look. Rain gardens can also be completely planted and Valley Water has a plant list on their website to give you more information about how to do that type of rain garden. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you're inspired to create your own rainwater garden. For more information, you can check out watersavings.org.